I think it's time we talk about raw milk that comes straight from the source. Mm. Not that kind of source. I'm talking about cows. Now I can't be the only one on social media seeing these groups of people talking about drinking raw milk and its health benefits. I'm a conspiracy theorist. Of course I drink raw milk. Did you know that the biggest salmonella outbreak was actually from pasteurized milk, not raw milk? Earlier this year, they found bird flu in cow herds in Texas and nine other states. Luckily, we are advanced enough that we have a pasteurization process, which essentially kills the virus. Pasteurization was found in the 1860s by Louis Pasteur. He found that heating liquid to a certain temperature will kill any bacteria in it, and he started doing this with wine. But it didn't take them long to eventually start using this on milk because there were so many life-threatening diseases with milk. And when milk started becoming more industrialized, they obviously had to take the precautions or else they were just gonna be wiping out people. So anybody back then who went from raw milk to pasteurized milk was throwing fits because they didn't like the flavor of pasteurized milk, even though it was keeping them safe. And this is where it gets kind of crazy because the flavor change allowed government officials to say that raw milk was not as nutritious as pasteurized milk and people believed it because the taste was different. And at that point, raw milk became like moonshine. People were doing whatever they could to get a hold of it. And in 2024, it's legal to sell raw milk in a few different states. Even though in those states, infections pertaining to raw milk are three times higher, state legislators are still trying to give consumers more access to raw milk. Let's take a step back and look at how dangerous drinking raw milk can be. They found cows in Texas this year with H1N1. H5N1 was extraordinarily high in the udders of these infected cows, which would raise the concern of pretty much anyone thinking, well, this might affect the milk. And pretty much all the dairy we buy from the store is already pasteurized, so there was no real concern. But because of this, the FDA had to put a warning out to people telling people do not drink raw milk. And of course, everybody listened, no harm was caused because everyone follows the FDA, right? This is raw milk that is nine days old. This is a food that has been eaten for thousands of years. It's nutritious, it's creamy, it's delicious. And this is the medicine that healed my digestive system. Oh man, if only we could have that much faith in humans. Instead, raw milk consumption increased. According to the Associated Press, when they found bird flu in March of this year, all the way up to May, raw milk sales increased. And this is not by a slight amount. We are talking about it increased from 20% all the way up to 60% compared to last year. And this begs the question of why are people so motivated to defy the FDA? We are talking about safety warnings that are simple to understand and even easier to follow. Don't drink raw milk because it has bird flu. And so I often ask, is this a trust issue in the government or are people just that stupid? It actually stems from a large mistrust that Americans have in the government. And for some reason, a large group of Americans are rejecting what experts have to say. And this is from an expert who studies this at Boston University. He said it's not that people are stupid or ignorant or they don't know what the science is. And he goes on to say that people are rejecting the science and these claims because their political ideology, their religion, and their cultural views. So they're basing this off anecdotal evidence where their family or someone else's family grew up drinking raw milk and nobody ever got sick, so why would they believe it? Even some of the smartest people in the world have thought these things. Steve Jobs, the man who started Apple, also the man that died of cancer, thought he could cure it by just eating vegetables. Then you have other influencers online who just say the most outrageous things possible. Look how fucking stupid this is. They market this for pets. I'm an animal. For dogs and cats. But here's the secret. This is the exact same raw milk kefir that is for humans. This is human quality kefir. For dogs and cats. For dogs and cats. And it's because the empirical evidence will never line up with the anecdotal. It's like saying someone who's 90 can have the same diet as somebody who's 18. It just will never work. And I want to be clear, anecdotal evidence is still evidence. We just have to be careful about how much power we give it when it comes to science. Because a lot of the time, it's not that this evidence is wrong, it's that there's not enough of it. But when we take it back to the levels of raw milk and the damage it could do, you just have to be careful. I cannot stress this enough. We should not be listening to influencers online about health products, especially when they promote bad products. A lot of these influencers have partnerships 
that they are not disclosing when it comes to products. According to state records newly released this year, as of 2024, a huge salmonella outbreak has come from raw milk. This outbreak affected over 165 people and it came from a farm in California called Raw Farms. Would you expect pet kefir to be Bobby approved? Yes, says not for human consumption made with raw cow's milk. I think it's unsafe, which is only true if it's from a really unreputable source. This company called Raw Farm, I'm pretty sure they're out of California. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. According to health officials, this is the biggest outbreak in the past decade, all because people would not listen to the CDC. And now Raw Farms is being held liable because a mother decided to give her six-year-old raw milk. And after that, her child was hospitalized. She read or saw online about the supposed health benefits of raw milk. And this is what happens when you have so much misinformation online. So because of this misinformation, she got sick and she started giving it to her four other children. And every single one of them got sick. In conclusion, the science is clear. The benefits of drinking raw milk will never outweigh the risks. But if you continue to consume content from farmers, influencers, natural food lovers, you will eventually find yourself down the rabbit hole of drinking raw milk. And they'll give you the excuse on they just want you to have the choice on what to eat and drink. We also have the choice to eat Tide Pods. And it's very clear at this point, it's not a good idea. So for me, I'll be staying away from raw milk. Now I'm about to go eat this raw steak.